this is Anita from Five Minutes with Art. Today we're going to talk a bit about John Constable, the British painter. In fact, if anyone saw a 19th century painting of the English countryside, chances are that it's a painting by John Constable. John Constable was a very important 19th century British painter. So you might ask, who was John Constable, this British painter? He was born in 1776 in Southport, England, and died in London in 1837. He was one of the most significant figures in the English landscape painting during his lifetime. But he's also, what's interesting about him, even though he painted a lot of nature, many believe that he was the precursor to Impressionism. And when you see some of his artwork, you really think that, Boy, he really was um, an artist that was quite ahead of his time during the time that he lived. He's really known for his paintings of nature. His early works were mainly watercolors and drawings of nature, but later he experimented with oils. He was known to go out in the countryside to sketch many of the scenes from nature. Even though he based himself in London, he frequently returned to the area of his birth. And once on a visit there in 1809, he fell in love with his wife, Maria, who was visiting her grandfather. And then, you know, the family did not, did not like that she was in love with this struggling artist because she had, you know, quite a bit of money, came from money. So the courtship be, so became a little bit clandestine. In 1816, after uh, many years of this secret courtship going on, which had to be, you know, close to like seven or eight, well, eight years, after, you know, the many years, his, her, his father died, leaving him a substantial inheritance, and he was finally able to marry the love of his life. They lived in London, and in 1817, their son John was born. Maria began to show early signs of tuberculosis, and her health was failing. The family rented a house in North London suburb of Hampstead, began focusing on, you know, all kinds of paintings of the skies. What John Constable is really known a lot for is, is his cloud studies, his studies of the skies. He was someone who really would go out and he'd, he'd capture nature and, and capture all the different types of skies. He was also known to predict different types of phenomenons of the skies as he saw them. He did have some um, international success uh, with his paintings because, you know, you look at his paintings and some great details, and in, in particularly the skies are, are magnificent in all of his, in all of his paintings. In his final years, he was known, though, to have depression, and he was known to be quite depressed. And in the 1830s, he began, he began, he felt depressed and alienated. At the time, he'd have these cute attacks were made against him and his contemporaries, and so he became extremely depressed. Yet despite all the personal struggles, he produced some fantastic works of art during this time, from oil and to watercolors and to drawing. So despite all of his own personal struggles that he had, he was yet able to show that he truly was a magnificent artist throughout all of this. And for me personally, I believe that this really shows what a great artist he was, that despite any of his personal struggles he had in his life and in his family, that he was still able to go out there and produce great works of art despite all of that. That's what truly made him a great artist, and that's why he deserves to be recognized, because he truly was able to produce great art consistently throughout his life. He's a significant British painter, primarily as a landscape painter, but he was also unique in that he chose not to paint you know, things that were just popular, but he chose to paint things like the sky. And he went out there and he was willing to experiment with it. And he was able, you know, took his easel out there to paint outside even before uh, most artists at the time were painting more in the studio. He was outside still painting outside in plain air, but he was out there painting where the Impressionists were out painting outside. John Constable was doing it before they were. This is why John Constable, he should really be recognized as truly one of the greatest artists who ever lived. This is Anita with 5 Minutes with Art. Thank you so much for listening. We appreciate you uh, listening to us, and we appreciate you being part of our community, where each week we try to discover something new about art for about five minutes each week. Thank you for our team who makes this possible.